I can recall the honor that the first Hapu in New Zealand to receive education was the Hibutu in the year 1812. 1812. And the Korero at that time was, we'll give you free education. Now, two of us said, we'll give the land free. When the education arrived here, that happened on the, on the, in the Bay of Islands. When the education arrived in Filinak in 1853, that Korero still stood. <coughs> Hence the Kura just down the road here. The old Kura. And our Tubana, our martyrs from the leaf farmer gave that pop free. But we never got free education because they changed it to a native school. And things started to change after that. And still, still on that same road today. At 14, I was the last of my family to leave Pirinaki, went to Auckland to get educated. Hated the place. Didn't like it. Wanted to be home all the time. All the time. Hated the system. I wanted to be in my home with my hills, my trees, my moana, my fauna, my tūrana waiwai. They meant more to me at that time. <coughs> and especially when I went to Sydney Memorial Technical College in Wellesley Street. One of the biggest words I ever came across in my life. If you read 35, your honor, he told that Maori is dumb, heathens, cannibals, and never get anywhere in this world unless we took the teachings of education. Something that hurts me still today. You find all the ones get educated. At the end of the time, there's no work there for them. Hence the comments of some of my other speakers have talked to me. <coughs> Having grown up with those Kurds comments at, at that particular time, I was ashamed of being on Maori. He prevented from speaking and taught the things I wish not to be taught in the Western education system, which was alien to me, and it made no sense to me, because I had no connection to it. These teachings had nothing to do with my upbringing or my concept of life. This had a huge effect on me personally. I hated school. Journey I really wanted to travel was to be right there for me where I was born to be Maori again. To feel the way of, of our Papa in the pool. To wake in the morning and hear the birds singing. Swim in my river, hunting my bush. Swim in my one and hit kind one. I provide kai for my father. <coughs> because at that time I could not see the connection of how Western world could give me these things I already had, but was deprived of. I attended the Blue Syllabus School at Nanawaya. Through my experience, I saw changes in Maori education, transforming from the Maori concept to a European concept, the ground from Chile continually changing their minds through policies. Today uh, we, we are now fighting to retain our Kura Kapapa, where free education for Māori was promised in return for our Tūpuna gifting lands, the Kōrero and the promise made yesteryear mean nothing today. Social impact. 
an experience of the 1960s to the 80s in the Hokiani area. I just want to comment a bit before this, Your Honor. Before this period, just after the Second World War, our people in, in Hokiani here, and especially take to we live like hmm? everyone was surviving by looking a few cows. We had a, a cheese factory in Wamamatu, dairy factory in Motuzaka. We had post offices, <coughs> we had banks, we had timber mills. And each father was averaging around about 12 in the family. Come the early 60s, those things started to disappear. Our cheese factory closed down in 1972. I am those like my Matua Patu. 
Let God make the education. Chapuelo, Rani, no, he woke up. Kotoma, if he fit the matter, or no, or tell you. In that he come, Mahara Koto, Kuwai Kwe, Kaoki, my Kwe, came right under the door, you mean? Come here, Kia Koto. I was not one for one of those, Your Honor. My education was here. And at the end of this month, I'm going to be an expert. I'm going to the environmental court to fight for our here. Kura. 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 And I class an expert with an X and a spurt after that. <laughs> demoralizing when we have to travel further distances to the basics like our shopping, first to Kaigo and now Kiri Kiri, way before and further afield. And there is real hardship experience, not only by me, but also by others. The Matu Farmland program, Yama, prior to my improved Involvement with the Runa, I was involved in the Matur Farmai program. I've always involved myself with farmers who have been in trouble with the law or government departures, department, noticing <coughs> the hardships and changes that were coming upon us as people and how to assist them to get out of there every week. They problem. From my own experiences, the longer I stayed involved, there was an improvement in how government department dealt.